Hi and welcome. My name is Daniel. Today, I'll be teaching you how to use expressions in everyday situations. Our topic for today is Get on the ball with these soccer expressions. First, let's learn some keywords that are included in this lesson. Attention Notice or thought shown to someone or something. The act of noticing or considering someone or something. For example, this problem requires our immediate attention. React To behave in response to someone or something. For example, she reacted with surprise when she saw me. Whistle An instrument that makes a loud, high sound when blown into it. For example, the goal was scored after the whistle was blown. Referee An official who makes sure that the rules are followed in a sports game. For example, The referee gave the player a yellow card for his foul. Goal post Either of the pair of posts that form a goal. For example, The ball hit the goal post and bounced back to the field. Score To gain a point in a game, competition, or test. For example, They went wild when their team scored. Get on the ball with these soccer expressions. Football, or soccer, as it's called in some countries, is the world's most popular sport with about 4 billion fans around the world. So it's no surprise there are many expressions related to soccer. Get the ball rolling or keep the ball rolling. At the beginning of a soccer game, one player rolls the ball to another. So the expression get the ball rolling means to start an activity. And to keep the ball rolling is to cause an activity to continue. For example, the company got the ball rolling by borrowing money and they kept it rolling by selling products. On the ball. To be a good soccer player, you must be on the ball or pay attention and be quick to react to the ball. This expression can also be used off the field. For example, a student who answers every question in class is on the ball. Blow the whistle or whistleblower. When a soccer player does something wrong, the referee blows a whistle. So, to blow the whistle is to tell the public that someone is doing or has done something wrong. For example, Edward Snowden is a famous whistleblower who shared information about secret U.S. government activity. Move the goalposts Soccer players aren't allowed to move goalposts because they would make it too difficult for the other team to score. In English, to move the goalpost is to do something that makes it harder for someone else to get what they want. For example, we were ready to sign the contract but they moved the goalposts and asked for more money. Which of our expressions did you find interesting? Give your answer by commenting down below. If you learned something new today or enjoyed listening, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and always take care.